to Entertainment News Now. And Twitter can be a nasty place, especially for celebrities. But as always, funny man Jimmy Kimmel has seen the lighter side of it. Kevin Hughes joins us now with all the details. Good morning, Kev. What is this all about? Well, Jimmy Kimmel loves, of course, attracting the A-list and he loves getting the big names on the show to do something very different. And he continues his mean tweets season on the show by getting some A-list stars to basically read out some mean tweets in, inim in an inimitable way. You try saying that. It's great. Have a look at this. There are people who think Julia Roberts is hot. Her gigantic mouth <laughs> looks like... It will devour an elephant in one bite. <laughs> Thank you, Chemotherapy 7, and good luck. Ashton Kutcher needs to get hit by a bus ASAP. I hate Courtney Cox. I hate her. <laughs> ho. <laughs> That's sweet. I hope Jeremy Piven falls off in public. Sofia Vergara sounds like she has a in her mouth. I hate hearing her talk. What's wrong with having a d in my mouth? <laughs> wow. wow. Sophia Vergara there, guys. I just love the fact that Hollywood stars can laugh at themselves. Yeah. Oh, we'd love to read out a couple of tweets. You first. <laughs> no, I bet you do. <laughs> Moving on, and David Beckham's dream of starting on, his Carl. own football team in Miami continues. Kevin, what's this all about? I love David Beckham. We all love David Beckham Tosh, and here he is with his plans, of course, for a, a soccer uh, team and, and the, the building of a major stadium in downtown Miami. There's been many rumours about the plans, but he decided with his team to put these official plans to action, which will involve altering a planned water park area and filling in land uh, originally uh, in use for a boat slip, where at a cost of uh, $20 million. This will affect the area of Miami. It's got environmentalists very nervous, essentially a museum and water park area. But David Beckham is determined that this stadium will be built. And, of course, he will stamp his mark as a uh, supremo in the world of soccer in America. We call it football in the UK. Yeah, he's got some powerful friends. So I'm sure he'll make that happen. Speaking of powerful friends, <laughs> Kim and Kanye are finally getting married. And Kanye's best man has been revealed. Who is it? <laughs> Can you believe it, guys? Yes, breaking news. I know you love this subject. Jay-Z, we now know that he will be the best man for Kanye, and we know that Beyonce has agreed to attend as well. That's because there will be no cameras filming the wedding service in Florence, Italy on Saturday for their E! channel. I'm gutted about that myself, but Jay-Z and Beyonce will be there. They're all going out for dinner tomorrow night. The big service is Saturday. All eyes on Italy this weekend. Guys, can you believe how much we've talked about this couple? They're finally tying the knot on oh, Saturday. I just want it over and done with. Bring on Monday. Absolutely. <laughs> no, me too. Kev, mate, what can we say? You've been so fantastic. Uh, we'll miss you, miss you terribly, and uh, we thank you for all your wonderful work over there. It has been a pleasure, guys. You two are incredible. Love from London. You're the best. When I'm coming to Australia, I'm coming to see you. Yeah, karaoke and whiskey. Let's go. Yeah, I've moved, Kevin, <laughs> just so you know. All right, thanks, thanks again, James. mate. See you soon. <laughs>